Often, what separates an ordinary aquarium from an impressive one isn't the size or the cost of the equipment. The real transformation happens in the details, nearly invisible adjustments that most aquarists simply overlook. It could be repositioning the filter, changing the substrate, or even how you arrange the plants and layout elements. These changes seem small, but their impact is enormous. They directly affect fish behavior, water balance, plant growth, and of course, the overall appearance of the aquarium. The best part? These are simple, accessible changes that anyone can implement, even without experience. In this video, you'll discover five practical modifications that will completely change your aquarium, from how it functions to what it conveys. These tips are based on real observation, not generic theory. If you want to go beyond the basics, have an impressive aquarium without relying on expensive equipment, and still ensure a healthier environment for your fish, watch until the end. Tip number four, in particular, is overlooked by many people and may be what your aquarium is missing today. Let's get straight to the point. One, lighting, much more than aesthetics. Lighting an aquarium isn't just about making everything look nicer. Light plays a fundamental biological role. It influences plant growth, regulates fish behavior, and even impacts the stability of the ecosystem as a whole. Interestingly, many common problems, such as excessive algae or plants that don't thrive, begin precisely with the lighting. Excessively dim light creates a dead environment. Plants stop growing, opportunistic algae appear, and fish become less active and their colors fade. Strong, poorly controlled light creates another problem, uncontrolled algae growth, which takes over the glass and substrate and suffocates the plants. The key is balance. For planted aquariums, the ideal is to invest in lighting between 6,500K and 8,000K, with a photo period of six to eight hours per day. For aquariums focused on fish, a softer light is sufficient and also helps highlight the animal's natural behavior. Want to enhance your aquarium even more? There are LEDs that intensify the blue and reddish hues of fish, enhancing their colors. And for those who prefer a more sophisticated look, the night mode or moonlight creates a beautiful effect without disrupting the inhabitant cycle. Good lighting is the starting point. It transforms what you see and, most importantly, what happens inside the aquarium. 2. Purposeful Layout Stop just putting stuff in the aquarium. One of the most common mistakes in aquarium design is treating the layout as random decoration. Placing rocks, driftwood, and plants just to fill space may seem sufficient, but a truly attractive and functional aquarium requires more than that. It needs intention. Experienced aquarists use what they call functional hardscape, each element has a clear function within the aquarium. A hollow log can serve as a shelter for shy fish. A strategically placed rock demarcates territory and reduces fighting. A fast-growing plant helps absorb nutrients and prevent algae blooms. The result is a more natural environment with less stress for the animals and much greater balance. Beyond functionality, the layout can, and should, enhance the aquarium's aesthetics. Creating depth is essential. A simple technique is to place larger elements on the sides and smaller plants in the center, forming a visual valley that guides the eye and gives the impression of a three-dimensional landscape. Another essential point is respecting swimming space. Many fish require open spaces to move naturally. A well-planned layout doesn't need to be complex, but it should always consider the aquarium's inhabitants and not just the owner's visual taste. Ultimately, a good layout transforms the aquarium from a random scene into a living, harmonious environment, both for the observer and for those who live there. Three, active substrate, the soil that feeds everything. 
When setting up an aquarium, many people treat the substrate as an aesthetic detail, choosing it based on color, texture, or price without considering its true function in the ecosystem. But the substrate isn't just the floor of the aquarium. It's the foundation on which everything grows – plants, bacteria, chemical balance, and even fish behavior. Active substrate is best for planted aquariums. It's enriched with nutrients such as iron, potassium, and nitrogen, released slowly and continuously directly to the plant roots. This encourages healthy, stable growth without the need for constant additions of liquid fertilizers. Furthermore, it creates an ideal environment for the colonization of beneficial bacteria, which are essential for biological filtration. This makes the aquarium more stable, with fewer fluctuations in pH and ammonia, which reduces stress on the fish and makes maintenance easier. Even in aquariums without plants, the substrate shouldn't be neglected. Using sand or gravel with the right grain size helps prevent dirt buildup and makes cleaning the bottom easier. If you want a more beautiful, healthy, and easy-to-maintain aquarium, start small. Replace your regular substrate with a functional substrate. This is one of those changes that doesn't appear immediately, but transforms everything over time, including your aquarium experience. 4. The right filter in the right position. Filtration is the heart of the aquarium, but even a high-powered filter can become useless if it's incorrectly positioned or configured incorrectly. This is a common and silent mistake that compromises water quality and fish well-being without the aquarist even realizing it. More than just liters per hour, filtration needs to ensure efficient circulation. Without this, so-called dead zones emerge, areas where the water doesn't move, favoring the accumulation of debris and a drop in oxygenation. The result is unstable parameters algae growth, and increased stress in the fish. Filter positioning is crucial. In aquariums with internal or hang-on filters, it's best to install the equipment at one end, directing the flow to the opposite side. This creates a continuous current that moves debris to the filter and keeps oxygen circulating. In sump or canister systems, the return nozzles must be adjusted to reach different levels of the water column, not just the surface. This ensures that all water is filtered evenly. Besides the position, choose your filter media wisely. High-density sponges and porous ceramics are ideal for harboring nitrifying bacteria. If you're using activated carbon, remember, it has a short shelf life. After three to four weeks, it loses its effectiveness and can even release toxins if not removed. Ultimately, effective filtration is invisible. You only notice it when it's malfunctioning. But when properly adjusted, it's one of the most powerful changes you can make to your aquarium. 5. Well-chosen fauna. Less is more. One of the most common and most damaging mistakes in aquarium keeping is choosing fish solely based on appearance. Vibrant colors and exotic shapes attract attention, but if the behaviors and needs of the species are not compatible, the aquarium quickly becomes a stressful, unstable, and difficult to maintain environment. A well-planned fauna completely transforms the aquarium, not only visually, but also in terms of balance, harmony, and fish health. The first step is to understand the behavior of each species. Territorial fish, such as betas and many cichlids, should not be housed with agitated or schooling species. Schooling fish, such as neon, rotostomos, or mato grosso, need groups of at least six to ten individuals to feel safe and exhibit their natural behavior. It's also essential to consider niches, the top, middle, and bottom of the aquarium. Corridoras, for example, are excellent bottom dwellers and help with light substrate cleaning, but they require a group and adequate space. Plecos, depending on the species, grow very large and require specific care. Another common mistake is ignoring the adult size of the fish. 
A goldfish or angelfish may seem small in the store, but they grow quickly and need a proportionate amount of space to thrive. Ultimately, fewer, better chosen fish mean fewer fights, less mess, less disease, and a much more beautiful and stable aquarium in the long run. None of these changes require a large investment or advanced technical knowledge. In fact, they're simple but extremely strategic adjustments that can completely transform your aquarium. And we're not just talking about appearance. The impact ranges from fish behavior to water stability. A beautiful, healthy, and easy to maintain aquarium isn't a matter of luck. It's the result of conscious decisions, constant observation, and well-informed choices. Sometimes changing the substrate, repositioning the filter, or rethinking the layout is enough to take your aquarium to the next level. And now I want to hear from you. Which of these changes have you already applied to your aquarium? Do you have any you plan to try after watching this video? Leave a comment. Your experience may help other aquarists too. If this content helped you in any way, take the opportunity to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. Here, the focus is always on real, no-nonsense tips aimed at those who want to evolve in their aquarium keeping with awareness, responsibility, and enjoyment. In the next videos, we'll delve even deeper into topics like planted aquariums, wildlife compatibility, algae solutions, and much more. So, if you're looking to continue improving your aquarium in a practical way, you've come to the right place. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.